Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be playing more, some more Scotty, seeing if we can figure out a build that works for us. Uh, you guys commented on yesterday's run saying I should try out a um, Krom, aka War, Legong slash Justice run. So we're going to do that. I've also switched my gear a little bit. Uh, notice we have like a billion dice over here. I've already used a couple just to get to this, but this is a decent start, I think. Also change our talent tree a tiny bit. Um... So we are no longer using mythology because we're not going to be using winter or mort. I think those are two key things if you want to use this. We're actually going to go with wanderer, which should get us a bunch of free stuff. Um, obviously free dice. Luck here is useful. Hero's journey. Someone asked about this in the comments and I feel like I should talk about it for a second. Uh, this is one of the best talents in the game. It's one point, so it, the opportunity cost is very low. Um, also, it lets you like one shot the skeletons and the more you kill, the more XP you get. So it's just really, it's just a really good talent. Also, the skeletons can nick away at you if you don't kill them fast enough. Um, attack speed, good attack damage, attack damage, move speed, two extra strikes, song in the north. It, you know, it's fine sometimes. I'm trying thrill of the fight. I don't know if this is worth it, but I'm trying it because these didn't seem worth it. I could see that this could be spent basically anywhere else, though. But anyways, we're trying that. The only other gear swaps I did from yesterday's video is I added luck to these two items instead of what I had. And I added the fried rice up here and I put on lone wolf instead of our weakness chest piece. So enemies are going to do more damage. Uh, and we got rid of our regen, which might sound silly, but... We do have the fried rice, so it should be easier to get what we're after. And the extra luck is going to help a lot. So we're going to immediately take tornadoes. And I don't think I care about banishing either of those. I want to use our banished dice properly. This is actually off to an incredible start. Uh, Rampaging strike plus tornadoes is good. Uh, we do have to take justice as our third god, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, whatever. Um, <laughs> because we have basically no healing. And we didn't take weakness. And again, this is like practice for Darkness 100. So. We'll have to see. Now, the reason the reason to use. These combo of gods, right, is because Legong has more or less the best strikes. Uh, tornadoes and Chain Lightning are the best duo strikes on any one god. Um, I don't know if they're in a vacuum better than any of the other ones. But, um, you know, together they're pretty strong. Uh, we can... I don't think I want charge. But I don't think I want to spend a banish on it because I'm going to take ball lightning. I'm just going to reroll like once or twice here. Or three times. Just not a novice offer. Take adept chains of war. I don't even think I want adept chains of war. But I also don't want to banish it. Okay, well. That may have been foolish. Part of the idea here is, is to get god of war as soon as possible. But uh, realistically, I shouldn't have spent my dice. I should be saving those for trying to roll inner piece, probably. And it's determined to give us Nen. All right, I'm going to stick through with the plan and go to justice here. <laughs> Even though uh, it's trying to give me everything, but. I will take blades. Blades is pretty strong ability. Like, we do have to get justice before too long, because I, I just can't. I, I'm going to be taking damage. I don't think I want shurikens. I think we could take war pact here. And uh, the only thing I hate about using fried rice is that I feel like I maybe I sit on 
my banish dice too long because I'm trying to get like maximum value out of it. Okay. Okay. That's twice we've seen just. Okay, we're gonna roll to justice now. <laughs> this feels bad. Okay. So look, here's the thing. We could take curiosity. That'd be cool. Serendipity, good. Life let me good. If we don't get to justice, we just die, though. So, here we are. What do I take, though? I don't like Radiance. I'm going to banish that. I don't want Celestial Wings, but I don't want to banish it just yet. I don't think I actually want Divine Shield either. I'd rather roll into Day of Judgment. There's inner peace. All right, see, it all worked out. Commitment to the plan. And then we want to hit as many, many HP shrines as we can. I guess we probably take dash, recharge speed. Cooldown's pretty good. Affects tornadoes. Okay. Yeah, like <laughs> thinking about it, I'm like mm, it affects tornadoes we'll probably get hurricane probably and it affects hurricane I think that's enough the only problem with using the sword is we aren't going to get to see the result of tornadoes at the end of this also tornadoes have been leveling up a lot from our uh, from our wanderer passive so it's already level 5 I mean I guess like 2 levels from it But that's still pretty good. All right, so things we need. We need protection from justice for more armor. We need... Um, I think I could take the f another rampaging attack. The thing with rampaging attack when you're using the wonder skill, the wonder talent, is there's a point of diminishing returns with basic attacks. Although... I think with this build, I wouldn't mind if my basic attack got up to 20. Like, if it was level 20, I wouldn't really be complaining. This, I I think this is a hate. Oh, this is a Banish Ball Lightning Take Haste. To lock it in as expert. Now, there is another thing to consider when you're using Wanderer. When you start, the more skills you start taking, the less control you have over what actually gets leveled up. Uh, so sometimes, like, you really wouldn't want to take haste super early. It's something, it's just something to think about. Uh, this is pretty easily scavenger's feast. 10% movement actually goes crazy, though. Yeah, what if I, what if I do this? Our, our damage, our attack damage actually scales off our movement. So... And so, like, that's really good. And one of the best ways to survive the stupid insect bugs that in most runs is that. Okay, well, Dash has a larger area. I don't know if I'm willing to banish that, but I will take God of War. It's a shame that we had to use all of our alteration dice to get to justice. Because it would have been really nice to be able to just use them, uh for future levels to get back to Legong for maxing out tornadoes and chain lightning, basically. Generally speaking, in runs where I have leveled out, leveled up tornadoes and chain lightning together, I've had a lot of success. Now, not, not as much on Scotty, <laughs> but I haven't spent a ton of time on this patch with Scotty compared to the other characters. Do not take what okay. <laughs> we just take Day of Judgment. It's fantastic. Our other casts don't matter. The blades are really there just to apply Rupture. Which will do some amount of damage. Um... 
with our, you know, attack having knockback properties. It's fine. It maybe not as good as light beams, the light rays, but at the same time, I could just banish blades next time I see it too. Alright, I think we're just supposed to take tornadoes and not really think about it. Thunderstruck's actually good. Um, I would just rather have it at a higher rate than that. They're saying we still need, we still need protection. And we still need, yeah, that's, that's rough. We still need protection and we still need, Okay, the knockback's kind of awkward with those guys because <laughs> if you, uh, or a banish, banish Eclipse, if you stand right above them, you don't get hit. Retribution wouldn't be terrible. I'm going to reroll to try and get better protection. How greedy do I want to be here? 23 armor is good. It's 45 at master, though. Pandemonium. It's Blades, Tornadoes, Ball Lightning, Rampaging Attack, War Pact, Haste, God of War. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Day of Judgment. All right, we need to get some heals for sure. Fates could be useful. I mean... Extra dash is really just always good for not getting a hit. Oddly, oddly, Jackal's still kind of fast enough. What are we doing with power duration here? We don't have any powers. Power area. The only powers we're taking because we're justice right now are retribution. Realistically, nothing else really counts as a power. It's awkward. Big power damage. Very awkward. I think we're on hit and run right now. Because tornadoes can't trigger every swing, we're basically swinging, moving, and swinging. Heal 33. Nah, I'm gonna take 12 luck here. Might be a little greedy, but that's an insane amount of luck. It puts us at a pretty good spot. I don't think Thrill of the Hunt's doing anything. I may be wrong. But that's one of those things I really like to be able to see uh, in the future of like how much something has healed me. Twenty max life, it's fine. Uh, Forty max life, even better. Curse you? No, no. <laughs> curse me? No, no, no. Curse you? I don't know. I, apparently, I'm cursing myself. That's not. That's a bad omen. When I, when I flub that one. Uh, okay. Actually, I think we take Serendipity here. That puts us at, like, a really good amount of luck. We're just gonna look, just in case he actually accidentally kills us. 114. A lot. Luck does directly affect pickup drops. Let me slow our attack. Oh, he got... Uh, he got destroyed. Well, that's... That's good news. Tornadoes are hitting pretty hard right now. Now, if this was Darkness 100, I'm pretty sure we would have died to the jackals, but I think that also would have been my fault. I think I handled them pretty poorly. Also a little, little sleep deprived. Had a rough time last night, so... Uh... My play might not be perfect, but I am trying to like think 
things through and do this properly. Even if my uh, actual hand eye isn't the best. Second bolt's kind of trash here. Double casting. So double casting Day of Judgment does nothing. Urgency. Cooldown reduction is not that great with Day of Judgment. It's fine. Uh, cooldown reduction with tornadoes is pretty good. But is it better than haste? Uh. It's not, I would say. Like straight up. But locking it in as a master offer has enough value to me that I'm fine with taking it. Also, Tornadoes has a really good luck ratio. This is War Pact. So, like, it's hitting 107% of... <laughs> it's a 100% chance to happen every two and a half seconds. Like, that's... That's really good. Now, if I can... If I could get Master Thunderstruck... I could potentially get it up to a hundred percent chance or two hundred percent chance, in which case it would fire a double set of tornadoes, or at least it should. I believe that's how it works. I don't think the cooldown stops that. I keep taking max HP here. As much as I like movement speed, I think that shrine I have to take max HP. This is weird. We're kind of split between an attack build and a strike build, but it seems to be working. I don't think blades matters. It might just be rampaging attack here. For the area. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like Scotty's attack should have more reach with the greatsword. It feels very... It cleaves super well, right? But it doesn't feel like it goes long enough. I think if Scotty had something on her tree that made it so that her attack was uh, a bit longer or something would be really cool. Like heals and life steals. It's not a significant amount, but whatever we can get. Um. Let me cool down again. We got a decent amount of cooldown now. Alright, so this is where we're gonna do the hit and run tactics. And 15% Master Blessings damage. Yeah, after taking the Pandemonium. Thank you, Day of Judgment. Tornadoes casually up to. <laughs> casually at level 8. We haven't really done anything with it. Now nah, we're taking a hurricane here. No reason not to. Gonna zip away. Basically only attack whenever... Whenever we get a chance and then... Stupid bug ladies. Stupid bug ladies are stupid my adult response to that. I guess we could take Adept Protect. No, we're not re-rolling much anymore. Let's just use it now and hope. Eh. What's better here? Probably Piety. 3% chance to heal one on attack hit. Damage doesn't really seem to be our problem. Although we are hitting the ever exciting moment of what happens with the bug ladies. Now, generally. Okay. That was, uh, that was rough. Okay. <laughs> Expert protection. It's not so bad to dodge one of them. Problem is dodging like 
four of them at the same time is impossible. Day of Judgment proc again. Wow, we actually do want to use a... <laughs> we actually do want to use some rerolls here. Didn't expect that. Honestly... No, let's take Tornado. Here comes another wave of them. I would like the heal, please. Where? Yeah, the only problem with being all in on tornadoes is there's a time when we're not actually using our full potential. Every every 2.5 seconds. Uh, give me more max life, please. Again, that was another spot where we probably die on... Well, we probably... We definitely die in Darkness 100. But... You could also just not die there. Like, that spot is so inconsistent. Take Lifeline. Or you have Serendipity. Looks like we have enough luck. For now, we're not going to hit, we're not going to hit a high enough amount of luck just from taking Serendipity to get us into double tornadoes consistently. So without Thunderstruck, so if that's the case, we might as well just like lean into, lean into this um, extra HP. Although I generally think once you get past the insect mages, unless the insect queen does some nonsense, you should be fine. And there's like, obviously that like, if you watched yesterday's video, the Jin can just kill you out of nowhere. It, like it happens sometimes. If, if he just decides to turn around and shotgun you with his uh, Inferno and you like, are dashed out, you might just die. Or maybe you're just like on the wrong side of him for some reason. That thing happens. It's whatever. Most of the time it won't. Like most of the time something like this, you'll just do too much damage. He'll just die. But sometimes he'll sneak sneak a win out. It's probably Chain Lightning here, right? Expert Chain Lightning. It's free damage. Yeah. Um, okay, guy. Take war pack. Let's get rid of this thing. Those guys really aren't a problem, but you do have to... You have to eliminate them quickly. One day they're going to fix this and we aren't going to be able to take the bonus, but that day is not today. That day is not today. All right, where is she? She was nice enough to drop a pool in her arena. an awkward fight and she's down and I guess we healed a full like 1.3 a second kind of trash like it's really really not good all right give me this it's more area on our attack it's still just like not enough Scotty does get a big second swing, which I think is really cool. And it kind of shows it off more, the area increase on that second swing, but it's still not.
It doesn't have the reach, I guess. I don't know. Maybe if I put some more attack area on gear. Start clearing the whole arena. Maybe try that next time. I will say the basic attack just does not feel like it keeps up with the tornadoes, though. I mean, I guess... I guess part of that is we are using a strike weapon. If we used an attack weapon, we could have, like, an extra... 100%... Um... hundred percent damage in the... In the equipment modifier bucket, which is substantial. Yeah, I wonder about full full attack area, Scotty. If I can hit the whole screen, would that be good enough? I haven't actually tried that before. I'm gonna cut this guy off, and he's dead. You care I would take protection up here pretty easily. Yeah, not not bad. I just realized we haven't gotten fatality. That would have made this all a little bit easier, huh? If we take urgency, we get tornadoes down to like, <laughs> we get a little bit off of that. I think haste improves our overall quality of life significantly. Yeah, that's that's what's been missing this whole time is fatality to make our attacks better. Hmm. Weird. Okay, well, realistically, right, I should be taking probably one of these two. But seeing as how I've been talking about it, <laughs> let's let's grab the big big swing. And I don't mean the Act One unique from Grom. Front, front, act one unique. Oh, laser cat outside the arena. That's some cheating. That's some the cheating. Righteous... We just take reprisal here. Slightly off topic um, conversation here. Who all do you have winning the NBA championship right now? Because my money's on the Mavs after seeing Luka and Kyrie play. Enough now after three games. I haven't gotten to. I watched a little bit of one game and then the entirety of the other one. And then I missed one game. I missed the second game. I'm recording this after the third game in which they uh, are now up 3-0 spoilers, I guess. But if you pay attention, you should already know that by the time this video comes out. Um, I haven't watched, watched Boston, so I don't know about them. Um, This is like interesting. Bloodless is interesting. I don't think it's good. I think we alterate here. Retribution is actually, you know what? After what Genie did to me yesterday, I'm gonna take Retribution. Remember. Look, look at them all lined up, just ready to take their shot. I'm convinced that these attacks are not supposed to do as much damage as they as they do. Like, I don't know if, I don't know if it's that, that they're not supposed, that they're either not supposed to do as much damage and they're supposed to pepper you with like pretty strong hits from afar. Or they're supposed to be slowed down, but there's no way. Well, okay, you know what it is? They're probably balanced around Darkness 30. And... It is not taken into consideration what would happen as they scale up. 
or cooldown reduction. Okay, that's actually not terrible because look, 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 we got Thunderstruck on 4.9 seconds. Uh, when it triggers, we have plus 80% status chance. Um, if I can get it to trigger, I need to hit tab to show off the tornado. Okay, it just triggered. It doesn't translate on the beat. That's lame. We definitely got double tornadoes there, though. So... Double tornadoes means double the fun. Double the trouble, double the dumb. I haven't heard that commercial in like 20 years. How, how did that one come out? Uh, this is like... It's whatever. Okay, Day of Judgment coming in handy. I guess we just take Retribution here. We take Retribution and laugh about it because we know what's... <laughs> the whole plan for Retribution is literally just... Surprise, Genie. Or, as was mentioned in the comments a while back, he's actually more of an Ifrit. If we're looking at... Uh, in lore. Uh, I thought my inventory was full, but I guess not. I've actually started selling some of my tier 1 uniques at a recommendation from uh, the comments to make space, because my bank is a mess. Oh, we're just gonna die. We, di we died again. That was, that was, okay. That was me not paying attention at the end. He should have died. But I got stuck in ball lightning form. And Retribution didn't really do what we wanted. <laughs> That's twice now he's done that to me. Oh, I think this actually works. I think I just have to be more careful. And like, let him do that attack, step away, and then walk in. Uh, this, this seemed like it was fine. Tornadoes was doing okay. Probably... I'd probably, honestly, take this off and throw on, like, some big-time strike damage gear. Uh, that sort of sucks. I think we got anything good here. And it doesn't look like we did. Looks like everything's kind of... Well, these are... I think I already had in my inventory. Stuff all sucks. Yeah, I think I'd take this off and put on, like, the double attack amulet, maybe... Or just something with like 120% strike damage. I don't know if all this luck is necessary. I could also put strike damage on all of these. And I also don't think this really did anything ever. It's tough to tell. Wonder wasn't bad. Um, Song of the North is basically no point. So basically these five talents I feel like are wasted. They could have gone to... Uh, White Fang wouldn't have mattered... Selkie is okay. I guess Highlander would have been fine. Jeez, that feels not great. When you compare Highlander to like Bronze HP regen for max life. I guess beginner's luck would have been better. Just 4% crit chance. Get enough crit. Maybe there's a crit build for Scotty. 4% crit here. Enough stuff on the gear. Fast attacks, big attacks, maybe. I don't know. Scotty's in a weird place, and I don't like it. Again, should have won that one. I, I did more than enough damage. I just stood in his fire, and I uh, I got myself caught after the after the ball lightning thing. I stopped taking ball lightning for a bit. Any swords for me? No. No? Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll look at all this later. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. I appreciate you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. That is a half moon necklace. I'm going to purchase that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Jump out. Bye.